guys. Uh, this is Closet Ninja, and this is going to be uh, video two, part two of the germination videos. Um, in my last video, we took the seeds. Uh, we prepped those seeds uh, to put in this nifty little rig right here so we can get those things to pop open and the taproot to come out. Um, this is two days later, and the sour OG cheese seeds have a nice taproot on there, about quarter of an inch, eighth inch. So we're gonna go ahead and go to the next step with these seeds. Um, my 10th planet seeds, like I said, they're big fat seeds. So that one's gonna take probably another day before we're ready to do this to those. But today I wanna show you um, the next step in the process. And that's taking those seeds that have opened and we're gonna put those into a growing medium um, so that they can sprout and we'll go from there. So in preparation for that, um, I have taken a gallon of water, uh, pH'd it to 6.0. I added two drops of this product called Super Thrive. Um, it only takes a drop or two per gallon, so this stuff goes a very long way. Um, I also added four tablespoons per gallon of the Extreme Gardening Azos. Um, so we got that liquid together and I've been soaking the little jiffy seed or the the jiffy pods um, that's this guy right here so i've been soaking those for about 10 minutes this is what it looks like after and as you can see all four seeds have opened and i have a very nice tap root coming off of those hopefully you guys can see that so we're going to set those there i also have a pair of tweezers that i have disinfected um, and I use a skewer, you can use whatever you want. This just helps poke a little hole in that uh, medium. So we're gonna take our Jiffy tray, and we are gonna load it with our soaked Jiffy cubes. So we're gonna take this skewer, and we're gonna make sure that there is a nice quarter, eighth inch hole in the top that we can shove the, the root down into. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And now it's time to put the seeds in. So when you do this and you handle these seeds, you want to be very, very careful. This taproot that's sticking out is very, very delicate um, and it's susceptible to bacteria and stuff. So that's why I um, uh, sterilized my uh, tweezers before I used them. So when we grab these seeds, you want to grab the actual shell itself without too much pressure. Just like that. So there you can see that has a really nice tap root sticking out. This thing is ready to go into the Jiffy Cube and it's ready to start growing. So that's what we're gonna do now. Um, I go ahead and take that tap root and I place it tap root down inside the hole. And then I'm gonna take my toothpick and I'm gonna kind of push very gently this material against that root so that it is touching moisture. And when you're done, what you're gonna have is if you can see that, you're gonna see the top of that seed barely sticking out of the top of that hole, but the root itself is down inside the Jiffy Cube. So this one is perfect. So we're gonna go ahead and set that here, and we're gonna continue on with the rest of these seeds. Right, so what we end up with is the four Jiffy Cubes. We got the tap root inside the material, the substrate, and we have just the very tip of that seed sticking out the top, if you can see. So this is gonna go under a very low light. Uh, fluorescence usually good to start out with. Um, and then once we get a nice little plant sticking up on there, uh, we'll move that up to a higher light. Um, but we wanna keep the light very low at, at, uh, in the beginning because too much light will burn it. Um, and we want the, the uh, seed itself to actually focus its energy on pushing that tap root down and growing the extra roots off the side instead of trying to grow a big bushy plant. So. Fluorescents are very good, T5s work as well. If you're gonna use uh, a higher wattage light like um, uh, an LED or a CMH or even an HPS you can use, make sure you raise that light very, very high. You wanna get it as high as you can um, so that you're not putting too much light on these fresh seeds. So that's that, this is the Sour OG Cheese. Uh, like I said, tomorrow I'll be doing the exact same procedure to the 10th Planet Seeds. Uh, we'll get those going and then once it's time to transfer these Jiffy Cubes into uh, a, a larger cup, um, we'll come back and do another video and I'll show you how to do that. Thanks for joining in guys, uh, hope this was helpful.